In this following video, I'd like to discuss with you what are the advantages of using the Mohanta Prechopper in the nucleus management of soft cataracts. Now we do know that the soft cataracts come with their own inherent challenges. The softness of the cataract makes it quite difficult to actually bury and impale the nucleus, let alone get a good hold of it and therefore further increasing the challenge in breaking down this nucleus. The tendency to cheese wire through the nucleus as we attempt to divide it poses further problems. It is for these reasons I've often considered that the nucleus management of soft cataracts is probably more challenging than dealing with the harder cataracts. So what if there could be a simpler way in which we could actually break this nucleus into four smaller emulsifiable fragments? Let's see in the following few cases how the Mohanta Prechopper actually helps us facilitate a division of the nucleus into small emulsifiable fragments with significant ease. Let's now see how this works. Now in a soft cataract, I not only perform hydrodissection, I also perform hydrodelineation to demarcate the endonucleus prior to performing the pre-char. So now in this case, we perform the hydrodissection and the hydrodelineation. Let's now understand the instrumentation. The instrument on the right is the sustainer. This instrument has a blunt tip and this is the instrument that is used to hook onto the nucleus. I introduce it through the right paracentesis incision held in my non-dominant right hand and hook onto the nucleus. So this instrument hooks onto the equator of the nucleus and is stabilized in that position. The instrument on the left is the Mohanta Prechopper. It has a sharp anterior edge and is approximately 2 mm long. The tip of the Prechopper engages into the nucleus at a point exactly opposite the ball dialer. Let's now watch this happening in this case. The pre-chopper then is buried into the substance of the nucleus and both instruments are then drawn towards each other after which they are separated laterally resulting in the successful division of the nucleus into two heminuclei. This is followed by the rotation of the nucleus and the use of the same pre-chopper in the exact same manner to further subdivide the heminucleus into two smaller fragments. You can see how once more the sustainer holds onto the nucleus while the pre-chopper buries into it, both instruments move towards each other and the heminucleus is further subdivided. What I like about this technique is that we are pre-chopping the nucleus within the capsular bag. There's no unnecessary instrumentation in the anterior chamber. And the first instrument that actually goes behind the nucleus is rather safe because of its bulbous tip and does not endanger the posterior capsule. Once downsized, with significant ease you can see how the individual nuclear fragments, so perfectly well demarcated, are easily emulsified. Let's now move to watching the second case. This is another soft cataract with an early nuclear sclerosis. You could see the hydrodissection taking place and this is followed as you will see with the hydrodelineation. This enables us to delineate the endonucleus that actually needs to be pre -charped. Both instruments are introduced into the eye, the sustainer goes around and hooks onto the endonucleus, stabilizing it while the chopper, as you can see, buries into the nucleus. Both instruments move towards each other and then there's a lateral separation, which facilitates the easy division of the nucleus into two heminuclei. Once more we watch the further subdivision of the nucleus into smaller fragments. I think the use of the spree chopper makes the downsizing of the nucleus and the heminucleus so much easier in these patients with soft cataracts. The downsized fragments are all rotated in turn to come in front of the tip and are then elevated out into the pupillary safe zone and are emulsified. In this particular case, it was an unusually soft cataract. I divided it only into three fragments. Following the completion of the nucleus removal, you have a significantly large epinucleus, which is then aspirated. We now move to the final case of the series. Let's watch this nucleus disassembly. Once more, we start with the hydrodissection, followed by the hydrodelineation. Having demarcated the endonucleus, it's now time to pre-chop this very soft endonucleus. 
because I'm left-handed, I use the sustainer, which is the hooking instrument, in my non-dominant right hand. See how I hook onto the endonucleus? I can actually see the tip beyond that very soft cataract. Having hooked and stabilized the nucleus, the second instrument, which is the pre-chopper with its anterior cutting edge, buries into the nucleus and both instruments are drawn towards each other, after which they are laterally separated, resulting in a successful and an effortless nucleus disassembly. Let's now watch the division of the heminuclei into smaller fragments with the same technique. So whilst using the Mohanta Chapa, I have found a clean division which sometimes is challenging in these very soft cataracts. The hooking of the nucleus or of the heminucleus should always be on the opposite side in order to facilitate the predictable and safe and effective nucleus disassembly. And here you can see how the nucleus has been successfully divided into four almost uniform nuclear fragments. This is followed by the emulsification of each of the downsized fragments. Having used it now for quite a few cases, I now believe that the Mohanta pre chopper has an important role in the downsizing of soft cataracts. Because I believe now that pre-chopping a soft cataract takes away the struggle which we often face while trying to chop and downsize a soft cataract. This brings us to the end of the nucleus management in this case and towards the end of this video tutorial, which I most sincerely hope you found useful. Thank you.